Okay, let's start from the top. LFO mode in this module is a pretty cool thing to use, and it can be polyphonic, and here is a situation where the magic happens. Terraform has all of those additional outputs at its bottom, and for the polyphonic LFO, they are pretty nice source of modulation too. I just start with taking off EOC end of cycle and put it in another audio rate instance of Terraform into gate input. We can get the semi random triggers with it. Also, I pass shaper and sub outputs through the couple of slew limiters and also used is the polyphonic modulators. Same for main out phaser and enhancer. So, just using one module or Terraform in LFO mode and make it polyphonic, for example with a chord key, you can get so many modulators at just one instance and they of course would not be so boring because it's a wave table and you can just change its shape by some other modulators and stuff like that. In this patch I use Terraform as a wave shaper. More detailed information on this you can get from the nice manual, I'll put link in the description. But here is my try. We have to set Terraform to zero frequency mode. Then you have to take some audio signal, even telephonic is fine, and pass it through the one of FM inputs. As you can hear a result can be pretty awesome. We can control by modulation the shaper and main oscillator. So in this case you will get a wave table wave shaper, which is a pretty cool thing to experiment with. An ability to modulate types of wave table, shaper and enhancer is also a thing in this synth voice. And here you can get pretty experimental sound like in this patch. So the main force of modulation here are sample and hold module and envelope generated output from Vultslab. And here is an interesting moment. It was being controlled by EUC end of cycle output or terror form itself. And it, it's not only make this modulation polyphonic ones. It can also add some pretty chaotic and unstable behavior just because end of cycle is in audio rate mode of the oscillator. And it's pretty fast and random, especially when sampling holes helps with this. What possibilities are just amazing. So wavetable position modulation is a pretty basic stuff that you can do probably in every wavetable oscillator. And mostly they think and describe overall sound of wavetable synthesis. So I bring one stepped LFO, a uh, steppedness of that is controlled by sample and hold module, and kind of pink noise, and some noisy characteristic into current choosing wavetable. Enhancer and shaper work here most like a filters and it's pretty nice thing to shape the overall sound because sometimes wave table can a bit too harsher or buzzy. In this patch I tried to use main malation source on shape mode parameter. I found that envelope generates works pretty well on that with slightly different shape and different speed as well. I also put low pass gate on it so it created a bit more shape in the sound. Also a couple of distinct LFO here helped here to control the table and decay of low pass gate and the random voltage generator effects on the decay length of the main envelope generator to make it patch a bit more alive. In this patch I get my focus on enhanced depth modulation with chosen shaper mode and use squinky labs 
four relevant modules for that. Also, I merged that four modules to two polyphonic connections with different sorting of these connections. In the result, we have a different elephant on the each voice and it allows to create some shivering effect around the patch and this is very cool especially with sharpen enhancer was been choose and I use scale onset from Bock Audio to increase overall amount of modulation from LFN. Also I add some slow LFO and envelope generator to the shaper modulation. And with table position as well to show how those differences are affecting to the enhancer. And lastly, I turned on low pass gate and enhancer switch, which also affects this sound even if low pass gate is turned off. So you can try to disable it to see that it works as pretty nice saturation in this case and add some harmonics. This patch is based around low pass gate in VCV mode. So I did it especially to show the power of build in low pass gate. It has an envelope output, trigger and long options which state I hacked by using a Map micro from Sturmeller. I like an attack control and ability to play both of the with two attenuators. It can create pretty nice pattern just inside one synth voice. Also, we have two independent gate inputs that can work some kind of choke group of hi-hats. I drove one of them with polyphonic gate and another with just mono gate. So this trick shows that even long pass gate uh, on off state that required hold to toggle it can be hacked with CV map micro that receives a gate signal. You can use a short triggers for CV map micro to switch LPG modes, of course, when it's turned on. Please also notice that envelope output is always working even when low pass gate is turned off and this allows you to control different parameters with it even in the draw mode. And this is one of my favorite one. So envelope output of low pass gate is a great idea and I pretty miss that in both plates and palette and here it can be polyphonic too. Just look at the scope to understand the range of possibilities you can achieve with it. And all controls are affected on it. Long, trigger, attack and decay of course. And the resulting sound is pretty clear. I mean, again, envelope output is a great way to get a pretty nice playing instrument in your patch. So leave your behavior with just a few mod lasers around, that's fantastic. This is pretty simple patch, the purpose of that was being demonstrated how to swap uh, enhancer and envelope low pass gate effects on the sound. I should say that on state can definitely add some snapness in some circumstances on previous controls of wavetable. Velocity function as a LPG section is really nice. And then a really easy way to make your gate or trigger signal to be velocity sensitive. So you have to put the gate trick into a VCA and emulate this VCA with some unipolar voltage, sequencer, random, LFO, whatever. So this is all of the trick. Just modulate your gate right, 
turn the velocity option on and you can get nice interesting results of course there is a two gate inputs and i made one polyphonic to apply different gates to different playing voices and yeah velocity works pretty nice on all of it and envelope cv output is also begins to be velocity sensitive so you can see on the scope so i apply it to, to different parameters in terraform to get a pretty complex result Sub oscillator in Terraform does any have any CV inputs to control, it, but again you can hack it via CV map micro. Okay, I did some two unsynced LFO modulation on both of them, both of the knobs, I mounted wave parameters, and you know what? Nearly is a fully clockwise sub oscillator wave knob really depends on choosing the table and its position and it's incredibly useful when you're starting the waiting wave tape position too another thing i used in this patch is a phase cancellation i really love that trick because it works especially fine with low frequency contour so i put both main out and sub outputs into a an inverter and then went one of them you could do it actually in right click menu of mind mail mixer any chosen track but i show it properly in 8 vert in this patch so when sub amount is going up frequency begin to cancel so get drawn sometimes sometimes only no sub oscillator content and sometimes effect of phase cancellation i think additional outputs are really useful in those complex oscillator like terraforms so cool this is the time for skew knob and its cv control this one allows you to make chosen wave table feedback on itself it's also pretty like feedback in true zero fm synthesis so it is because the feedback really depends on wave, what waveform was been chosen, I applied some modulation to it too. I believe Shaper and Enhancer didn't evolve into this process, but they allow us to shape that post-wave result. So the skew, as you can hear, is pretty good at adding noisy accents to the output. The choice of sync mo modules is really sick in this beast. But my favorite one is reverse. And yet there is two inputs of sync, of course. So I put two different instances of Terraform to those ones, and one of them in polyphonic mode has a different chord being set. So it makes that pretty nice sounding semi glitches effect without having granular or something like this. Any of you have listened this patch on a minute, it will sound differently for sure. And also, yeah, weak sync controls, which I suppose do switching from hard sync to soft one, are pretty useful in I did use one of them. In this patch I tried to demonstrate how awesome idea on having a VCA control on a FM side, the patch, so you don't have to mess with another module to add a VCA. There is also a phase modulation of FM which is turned on by default. So it means that you're like setting up Yamaha DX7 or using True Zero FM Sync, which is cool and don't destroy your pitching and overall tone is nice. There is also post phase modulation which turned on in this case really helps to overdrive a whole tone a bit with a skew, a phaser control 
actually a feedback module to itself, I believe. It's turned up a bit and it prevents module from going to the feedback mode. And the last one, Elfa mode is also extremely good for making click and cut style music or just for creating nice FXs for your patches. And here is my illustration of it. Please have a notice that the one oscillator plays in poly mode that feeding by the spreader. And I believe the enhancer type is very important to set Elfa mode in audio world for achieving musical characteristic. Thank you for watching guys, you can get all of my patches on Patreon and thank you for supporting me and watch me. So see you later.